There we go. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, I am hiding on here. You guys would not believe it if I told you. Uh, let me get rid of this stuff here. Uh-oh. I don't know why, but my... Let me turn this off. Quit. Uh, okay. Oh, my God, you guys. All right, let's turn that on. Hi, I am here. Uh, there we am. There I am. There we are. All right, I'll talk about this. I'll just make it smaller for now. Oh, my God. Okay. Did you guys see my picture that I just posted two minutes ago? I was going to talk to you all about storage. Hi, guys. I should welcome you all. So, hi, welcome to my studio. Welcome to the craziness that is my day. Did y'all see the picture I just posted? Okay, let's, oops, I gotta move over here. I always have to move opposite of the camera. Uh, welcome to my studio. For those of you who are just joining in, I'm just logging in. I was just getting ready to share how I store my brushes. I have a big surprise because I found a whole new way to store them two minutes ago. So I'm really excited to share. It's going to be really great. I have a live camera, the whole nine yards. And um, I am Tracy Weinzapple. This is my art studio. My son is calling. Hello? I am, but right after I'm done being online, okay? Do you, do you have the flyer? No, I have the flyer. Are you going to go get your own food then? Oh, of course. Then it'll be on my money. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. All right. I think I, I think I can see. I hope this did not freeze. Okay. Sorry. After this, I have to go to the golf fundraiser. And that means I have to get dinner. Sorry about that. So it's 529. This is the craziness that is my life. I'm not hiding anything. Everything you see is actually happening right this minute. We are live in my studio. I'm Tracy Weinzaffel. Let me pass out some hellos. I'll start with Anne and Betty and Terry and Aaron and Christina, Patricia, Bonnie. Um, let's see who else is here. Who else is here? Say hi and where you're from. Um, where else? Let's see. Ah, Tina. Oh, my goodness. Lots of people. Walter, my brother-in-law. Are you watching? Okay. So, anyway, tonight, I have a little link up there. I'll just leave that. And um, I just reorganized all my brushes about two minutes before we went on. Decided, there we go. There's Carol from Arizona. Perfect. All right. Um, it was an unplanned reorganization, but... Um, Hi, Lisa. Good. Just tell me that you're here and let me know um, that uh, hopefully I'm live. Uh, if, if something freezes up, I'm sorry, but nobody's here right now. So the good news is I get to be myself. Right after here, I have to go to a fundraiser and get Mexican food for my family to benefit the golf team. And um, Candace. Hi, Candace. There we go. That's um, somebody who'd like me to come teach. So that's exciting. Hi, Tina. Hi, Mary Scott. Um, you guys, this is so fantastic. Good. Hi, Chris, uh, Kristen McKee. Hi. Okay. If you're new, just tell me you're new. Never see me. If you're just lurking and you just want to know what goes on here, lurk away. I don't mind one bit. Uh, this is recorded. It will go to um, YouTube right after we're done. <laughs> I should give a link to my YouTube channel, but of course that would take some effort on my part. And the rate I'm going, I'm afraid I'm going to drop something. So uh, that gives you a hint about my new organizational skills. All right. So hi, Nancy. Okay, this is fantastic. 
good. People are logging in. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, I decided to hook up my iPad to see what you're looking at and be able to make sure I know who's who's on here. If you have any questions, Mar Mar uh, Maria just logged on. If you have any questions, I love it. Maria's on her TV, so I'm, I'm the big times right now. If you have any questions and I don't answer them while it's, it's streaming live, it's sometimes it gets going and I can't get on there. I am going to give away brushes. Um, I don't know what I'm giving away, but I'm giving away Dynasty brushes. Uh, I'm a big fan of them. That's what I'm going to be talking about tonight. So um, how you can get those and be signed up for it is a couple of ways. Really just one main way. I don't want to be causing extra work for myself. Um, I'll bring this back later. So if, if you're just joining, um, welcome to my studio. This is my art studio. This is where I paint every day or at least every other day or at least every day. Every day I do something. I create every day. Um, so on the bottom there, right? Can I do that right there? It says yourartfuljourney.com brushes freebie. That is how I'm going to select any winners for brushes. The other thing about that is if you go there, you get this really cool all about paintbrushes. It's in my perspective. This is not all about paintbrushes. It's all I care to share about paintbrushes. I cannot, I'm not writing a book. I'm not going to talk about every brush for every person, for every style of paint. What you're going to get tonight are my personal favorites, the brushes that I use, know, and love. And so much that I, um, how I store them, how I carry them, how to take care of them. But I put everything right here. See? Paint, brush, care, and cleaning. And then on the back of it, I put a discount code because the very nice guys at the brush guy, I should got, say guy because I don't know if there's guys, but the very nice guy at the brush guys is now giving discounts permanently attached to my name, which is awesome. And that's thebrushguys.com, and he's giving a discount. So um, that's been a long time coming. I have tons of stuff coming up with other companies that I'm working with, but we're just going to start one company at a time because if you build it, they will come. Excuse me. I need a sip of water. Okay. So, um, I've had quite a day. It's a busy day. I am, I, as you, some of you know, I work construction by day. And so I work with a bunch of guys by day and by night I'm a pole dancer. Uh, I am not a pole dancer, and I swear if somebody takes some little snippet of that, I'm not a pole dancer. I am not coordinated enough, and after you see my new brush organization, you will know that I am not completely capable of doing anything related to that. I think it's a wonderful way to be fit, and I have nothing against it. It's just I'm not coordinated and would probably kill myself. So way to go, Jennifer Lopez, at age 50. I can't do it. So tonight I'm going to talk about brushes. And I am really just wanted to break it down and tell you what my favorite brushes are. And I was going to show you, I was going to, my, 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 um, in front of me, well, I'll just do this. Okay, here's a mug. Happens at my face and my Andy Skinner's face. This is one container full of my brushes. I didn't want to get rid of this mug because I love it, but I feel odd drinking out of a mug that has my mug on it. So it was like, I can't be at work and sipping my tea in the morning, you know, like talking to everybody going, oh, hi. Oh, you don't have a picture of you in your mug? So I turned that into my brush holder. So this right here is my primary brush holder. I have a secondary brush holder. Hello, everybody logging in. My secondary brush holder is here, and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, in fact, I will just camera this bad. Hold on. I have to deal with, um, here we go. We'll just add this. There is my organization. Okay, so if you're wondering how I store and how a good way to care for your brushes, uh, that's one way right there. 
you're wondering what that looks like via picture, I'm going to show you right now. Sorry, I can't get, it's so far away. My, my table is really high up. So that's how my brushes are at the current moment. I'm not lying. If I were, that glass would not be all over the place waiting for me to clean up. So let's get rid of that bad boy. Is that funny? I'll just, I'll just move that right here for right now. We'll just talk. I'll just point to the brushes. <laughs> so, um, I will tell you that was a glass jar that I got at a trade show that was just the right, it was a, um, I don't know if you ever notice it, but sometimes containers, oh, like this is a good example right here. Sometimes containers go in, you know, and they're very narrow at the bottom. And then you have a situation where they tip over if they get weighted down. So um, I like a big, flat, round bottom like this. This is too tall. But you see the base of it sturdy. The handle of my bag got caught on the handle of... This thing had a... Uh, um, <laughs> love my shoes. Thank you, those are my tennis shoes. The handle of the my bag got caught on, there was a handle on the paintbrush glass holder and it held a fine quantity of paintbrushes. It will be one of those um, containers I probably will never be able to replace. But I listed on the front of this said flyer, nobody needs to take notes, I put it all right here. I listed my two favorite Dynasty brush uh, lines. Now, I am a, how do I put this? I am a frugal, mindful spender of my money. Yes, I do have a studio full of items. And yes, the brush company is very generous with my teaching and with me. And they support me. And I love that. But I like to use things that I love, are easy to get, um, are economical. But I do love their high-end brushes. Like, there's no doubt about it. I love them. But I'm not always the best. Um, I, I will get rid of this. We'll, we'll bring it up later. I'm not, oh, I'll, I'll just bring me up for right now. It's just so ridiculous, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So I'm really just going to talk about brushes that I use all the time. I love at the end of the day, if I let paint dry on them or I leave them sitting in the water bucket, um, I'm probably not going to break my bank and not be broke from paintbrushes because it's easy to spend money on paintbrushes. And my dad had a, it has um, a rule. He taught me this from an early age. It's the right tool for the right job. The right tool for the right job. That, so um, the other thing I'm going to tell you and I'm going to preface tonight's discussion is I'm not an oil painter. Everything I use is water-based. Uh, I don't know. I, I've never worked with oils, maybe some oil pastels, but I don't have the wherewithal or the talent or the skill set. Not to say I'm not open to doing that in the future, but I'm not an oil painter. Kudos to those who are and can pull out turpentine and whatever you need to clean brushes. I need water-based items because I am water basically lazy. That is who I am. Water basically lazy. Okay. So now that I've given you all the reasons why I probably am just going to be handing you information that I find that's useful and I feel like it's valuable so you don't go out and getting, you know, get just spend boatloads of money and have stuff sit. So just looking at the mess on the ground. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you my two favorite lines. Now, I know they have another line coming out, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, and I didn't, uh, Water Lily, I think are the names of them. Those are watercolor brushes. Those are coming out. I did try those. I'm super excited about them, but I'm not going to talk about those here. The brushes, the paint brushes that I know, love, and use all the time are they're the black silver brushes. Right here, they have the silver barrel. I love the black gold, too. Again, black gold is going to be better than black silver. But I'm completely content with black silver, so I put my money elsewhere. Like my shoes, okay? my I don't even put my money in shoes. Um, then the other one are the faux sables, F-A-U-X. So they come with this. Don't worry when you 
put even if you get my newsletter or whatever you want to put in for this because I'm going to be picking winners and sending brushes okay that's what I get to do I didn't ask Dynasty but I'm going to do it I can just send them my own Okay, that's what I'll do. You're gonna get you're gonna get brushes from right here. These are the brushes I'm going to be sending out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna send you my used brushes, um, but I could because I keep them clean. So I put the faux sable on the black silver, and then down here I listed my favorite sizes. So um, I I made this easy for you. Okay, well, and mother I keep dropping stuff so I made it easy and I listed my favorites my favorites are the round four six and eight who do we appreciate four six and eight here we go that's a six this is an eight I'm sure I have a four in here four six and eight here they are four, six, and eight. I could have turned my camera around, but right now my camera is aimed on, you know what, I can do that. I might as well just lay these out. I can stop aiming, oops, my God, if this camera falls, that would be not good. Okay, so look at that, I love technology. Okay, there are the three brushes that I use right there. I could have moved that closer, but I didn't, so, um, uh, okay, and then what did I list? Okay, liner brushes. Oh, I'm a sucker for a good liner brush. So the ones I listed on here were, da, 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 da. oh no, I did, those are flat brushes. I use flat brushes too. Flat brushes a lot of times for backgrounds, and I think I list half inch, three quarter inch, and a full inch. Size does matter. There we go, there they are. Beautiful. And again, the same brushes come in the same sizes. Um, it they come in the same sizes in the black and the silver. Um, what did I say? Black silver. It's on the ground. Just having one of those days. So let's put those out there. Okay, there we go. A lot of my backgrounds. Those are those are what I use. Liner brushes. I have a few favorites. Here's a liner brush. This is, did I even list this? Well, this is a half inch round. Hold on, I'm looking. My liner brushes I keep in a separate space so that I don't, oh, these are all, they look so bad. My liner brushes look really bad. Well, the size is, so liner brush is gonna be really, this is an old used one. Oh, here's one right here. Nope, that's a, well, here's one. No. I keep my liner brushes. They're in my bedroom. Don't ask why. It's a slow month. Liner brushes basically have like no, they're just, oh, there you go. There's a liner brush. Hold on. C, 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 C. And I put a size zero and a three slash zero. I always keep them on hand. Oh, look at this. So this this is an example of when the um, water gets up into the barrel. See what happens. And I think it's called a feral or something. Again, I don't make these for a living. Don't quote me. I don't work at the brush company. I just use them. I love them and support them. But this I just need to glue back on. And, it, and it's just that brush has seen its better day. But I use my brushes until I have to give them CPR. Liner brushes take care of them don't leave them in water if the if the ends start to move away don't give them haircuts you could try um, I love the people who just refuse to get rid of their brushes and then they just they don't work like the way they're supposed to Jen DeBell just said you crack me up it's just the way I am um, so clean your brushes always keep don't let them when you're working uh, let, I'm skipping ahead okay the last thing are stencil brushes. I use stencil brushes quite a bit. So I listed two. Just the regular stencil brush is like this. Let me grab a couple of sizes. Hold on. Let me go to my organizational. Let's not try and cut myself. I love stencil brushes and I really am good at Okay. So stencil brushes, let's try and not fall either. Stencil brushes, I love their Pro 
they make these the that's what they look like and they come in different sizes and they give you like this stipple effect you can use them on stencils hence the name stencil brushes so those are fantastic oops look at me i cannot keep one damn thing in my hands today um Tracy Moreau, they have a line of stencil brushes that have this, see how the inside of it, it's like two different levels so that you can get down inside of your stencils. That's another style. I love to stencil. I don't do it a ton, but I use, for the middle of my flowers, Um, I use this because it gives that nice little stipple effect. If you've ever heard stippling, da, da, da. see, and I don't care what they, they work the same even when the ends get dirty. People don't. And then recently Dynasty came out with, I love the feel. I'm not joking. Everything is falling. Here, I'll just throw these over here. So there's those. And I listed the sizes. I listed my favorite sizes. You don't need to have every one. Don't panic. I'd start with your basics. I, I start with one medium-sized stencil brush. It works great. So recently they came out with the Dynasty Stencil Pro. This is super soft and blends really well. I happened to pick up one of these. Um, one of these, yeah. Remember when I taught classes, Christina, I would do that? The the when you do this with stenciling and you're teaching a class of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, what happens is it sounds like a herd of elephants are going through the class. It's super fun. It's everybody gets real um real um they get real uh loud and quiet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so they came out with the um the pro. And it just makes you a professional stenciler, I guess. No. Uh, this, it's really soft. And I, I absolutely love, love, love. Again, these brushes, especially these big wooden brushes, do not leave them sitting in water. I will tell you how I clean my stencil brush in one minute. I'm actually going to move this out of the way because uh, I don't want to break it. And I have a feeling I'm actually afraid for my iPad today. Um so this is a great, great, great stencil brush. I really need to get the other sizes. So Dynasty, if you happen to be watching, um, okay. So I made that easy. There's my, there's all my brushes right there. Uh, and I, I even put, remember that different brushes will do different things and I highly suggest experimenting. Don't be afraid of your brushes. Now, I did want to go over watercolor brushes. I might have to make a whole other segment about watercolor brushes. The thing about watercolor brushes, and, and again, all those brushes I just listed, I can use with watercolors. At some point, I'm going to have to move because the sun is starting to set. Okay, that's good. The bathtub with the stencils. That was a joke one year. I told people to go clean their stencils in the bathtub, and they're all like, what? I'm like, yeah, just take a bath when I'm done. Put the jets on, clean my stencils. Um, so anyway, somebody today suggested I do my, I was having a rough day, and he said, hey, why don't you do your, why don't you do your show from the bathtub? And I went, all right, whole new audience. Okay, listen, I'm open to anything. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm kidding. So anyway, um, that's all about brushes. You see all mine. The sun is setting. Isn't that awesome? And uh, I will be giving away some of those exact brushes that we're talking about. Uh, if you go to that artfuljourney.com slash brushes freebie, you can, you can sign up there. Okay? Uh, that's where I will be picking random winners and sending. I'm not going to be, you don't have to go anywhere else. Okay. Any questions about that? I really went through it, but that's what you're getting you're getting this information. So I felt like I really didn't have to like, everybody asked me to write down what I use as far as brushes. And I thought I finally will do that. And then on the back, I did this because if you're going to spend money on brushes, you want to take care of them. Don't leave them sitting in water. And if you're using them with paints, which you're supposed to be, don't be using them with anything else. 
don't let the paint dry up on them. That becomes your worst enemy, especially like acrylic paint because it actually has resins in it and you will you will you will rue the day you let that happen. But um so I put a bunch of tips. Now, my water container is here. This is my water container. I always have clean water. Actually, I always have dirty water and I have to go clean it, but this container is divided into two sections. One of them you'll notice is ribbed. Um, and this, I, I have water in here, I can't dump it, but it has ridges. <laughs> and so that's so that you can scrub the bottom of your brush. And I know the other side has like, and this one has like a resting station. I don't leave it. I also don't use this very often unless my brushes are clean. First off, I don't like playing the game of figuring out what handle fits in the side of these damn things while I'm painting. I just put them in the container, the container that just broke on the floor. When I am painting, they go in like this. They go in a mug with my face on it. Okay. So I don't, I don't play this game. I don't, where did I get this? The water container, um, watercontainers.com. I don't know. I, I'm kidding. I don't know. Um, I've had this, I've had this for a thousand years. I'm trying to see if I have another one. Oh, here's another one. Any basic art supply store will have these. My, uh, big but any Fred's Ralph's hey the brush guys probably have it go to the brush guys there we go Christina says it I don't really endorse certain stores or box stores now if I'm going to teach at a store by all means I do that okay so here let me show you this look at this how oh, handy look at okay you really should have been thinking that hello now at the end of the day you'll notice mine gets really dirty I actually stick this in the dishwasher so Every couple of nights it goes in the dishwasher. I never worry about the paint that's dried up on it. It's not going to harm you. I'm, I'm normal. <laughs> My kids are normal. <laughs> yeah. So this was the ribbed side. I don't think I'm so, I think ridged side. And then the side with the resting of your brushes. So, um, I, I always clean my brushes on this side and then I rinse them on this side. Um, and then look at, this comes with a lid. I don't ever use these either, but this is a palette. Isn't that handy? I never use it. Uh, there's an example of a clean one. So you don't have to go that far. I don't, you know, but I bet you the brush guys have a brush thing. I'm gonna tell you about my favorite brush cleaner. That, that's a handy tip. So you always wanna like have the dirty side and then the clean side and always change out your water, okay. Somebody says, I use a silicone collapsible lunchbox, works great, does. You know what I use when I'm teaching? I go to the Dollar Tree and buy a bunch of those little plastic containers that your lunch meat comes in. Nobody seems to have an issue, and that's it. So I, I'm not going to go through every step of cleaning your brush, but a good mild soap. This right here is Brush Cleaner by DecoArt. I put a magic brush. I put a photo of it. There you go. Bunch of information. So I use this. When you're going to clean your stencil brushes, this is a handy tip. What can I, um, let me just, so when you go to clean your stencil brushes, I probably could do that, well, that demo right there, I can't. What I do is, where is my surface? Let's pretend this is a surface, it's my newspaper. See, I didn't plan on doing a live demo. But basically, I will take something like this, the brush cleaner. I don't really use soap because I don't want to lodge a bunch of soap in this. It's kind of a nightmare. I put a little bit of the brush cleaner down on my glass surface or just um, a smooth surface. And then I rub this around in there and clean it off. And I wipe it off with a baby wipe. So I just do it until the paint is gone or I, there's no color coming off of it. It works the same. Don't, I, people get nutty about their brushes and I don't, I don't get nutty about my brushes. Now I get nutty about a lot of stuff. I don't get nutty about that. So, uh, and the reason I don't stick these bad boys in water is they'll eat, they'll soak up water into the, I think it's called feral, F-E-R-R-U-L-E -R -R -E or something, barrel. I don't, 
I did not go to Brush University. I went to What Has Ruined My Brushes University. So if you leave this sitting in water, you'll wake up the next day and this handle will have soaked up things. So just take care of them. That's it. That's all I want to say. Uh, you put good money into your supplies, they should last you until, well, they bury you in this situation. Anyway, so on the back, I did that. Um, there's a big debate whether you store, if you dry your um, brushes laying down, upright, hanging upside down like a bat. I don't care to get involved in that debate. Um, I will tell you how I dry mine, and that is I leave them flat. I don't leave them this way because if they're saturated here, it will go down into the wood. That I will tell you. And Dynasty makes some awesome acrylic plastic handled brushes. I actually used to have a set of those, and I would buy those in a heartbeat. I'll have to go look for the name of them. Yeah. My website is not working. Okay. I'll just drop a text. We might be, we might be, I'd love to say that we shut it down. Um, uh, let me just send a text. I, I don't handle that end of it. Um, if not, try again later. I will not pick winners until I'll give it a week or so. In fact, you know what? Next, thir next Wednesday when we're live, I'll pick the winners. Got it? I never rewatch my videos, so uh, hold on. I'll write myself a note next Thursday. I'll put them in the mail before that, but I'll just announce the winners, that kind of thing. So don't, it, let's just say so many people were logging on that we crashed the system. Um, I'd like to think that that was the case, but if it wasn't, it wasn't. Okay, so I went over um, storing your brushes. Oh, I was talking about uh, letting them dry after they're done. Again, I lay mine flat, they dry overnight. Do you have to be present to win? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, no, you don't. Uh, alive would be nice, but not present. Okay, um, I went over the storage. Here's how I store mine. Uh, again, that's how I clearly store mine. Uh, that happened two minutes ago. It was, you can actually see on here, oh, I can't, you can't see my little pointer. Um, you can actually see in the right-hand side of the photo, the bottom of the uh, glass container. So I'll be on the lookout. Uh, that's not really how I store them, but what are you going to do? So, um, you know how you know how you get the perfect purse you get the perfect whatever and it lasts you for, I, I remember when I got that I got that at a trade show and somebody said can you use this I went yeah stick all my paintbrushes in I dumped all my paintbrushes in it haven't two seconds it's gone anyway maybe you know what don't get a glass container but the one thing like I said I don't get containers like this that go narrow on the bottom because then what I find is when you put your brushes in all of a sudden it goes beep, tips over so um, so we talked about storage we talked about uh, what time is it we talked about giving stuff away we talked about the freebie this is all here we talked about cleaning we talked about what kind of brush cleaner um, you can also use a mild soap so you don't have to buy a brush a brush cleaner I just, that's really what I use on my stencil brushes uh, 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 solely. I also clean the surface of my desk with this and don't tell anybody, but I rub it on my hands and I am completely normal. So uh, I think I just listed a few extra things. Uh, remember as artists, brushes are your working tools. If you keep them in good condition, they do a good job for you and they will last a very long time. I should be the... Dynasty spokesperson. Uh, I was joking. Uh, so you will get a 5% discount from thebrushguys.com. I don't think I did that. There's a code. All this information is right here. The code is, I'm not going to make a joke out of the code because then I'll end up, somebody will put that in there. How do you know which brush to use when painting? Oh, that's an excellent question. Well, if at first I pick one up and it makes a mess of my painting, I put that bad boy away and never use it again. 
Um, I will tell you this. I start small and I work my way up. Okay, if I'm going in, really great question, and I don't mean to make light of it. I just, that's who I am, that's just who I am. Sometimes my humor is good and it relays well, and sometimes when you're talking to the labor um, guy today, like I was, the labor union guy, not so great, felt like a, fell flat. Um, but I do uh, liner brushes for liner work, the really narrow, thin brushes. I listed them on there. Um, and then I usually start round, you know, with the type of work I do. And you guys are probably familiar with some of the work I've done. And um, Judy, hello, just got here. Don't worry, Judy, go to that website and sign up for it. I made a cheat sheet. and You can watch the video right after I'm done. Um, anyway, so that's how I start with my painting. And I usually stick to the round ones. I don't, um, again, my style of painting and I, um, is very free, very whimsical, and I don't follow a lot of directions. So for those of you who are a trained watercolor artist right now who are just shaking in your boots, I totally get it. Um, you know way more than me, and I would love to learn from you. Um, this is the thing about brushes, and I learned this long ago. I have been, I come from having worked in the industry and worked for a paint company, and I've had the pleasure of working with decorative painters. Decorative painters paint the most amazing things, and they do brush strokes, and they do floating. Oh, my God. When I learned about floating, I told them my idea of floating was in a pool with Corona. I'm not going to say the word Corona right now. Time out. Anyway, um, I did. I said Corona. But I will tell you that um, I have watched Dottie, um, Doxy, Doxy, Doxy in the creative and uh, decorative painters. I mean, she used to pull me aside and say, don't leave your paintbrush in water. She would just... It, it really became a thing that I would just leave it in there to um, upset her. Okay, the site uh, on the bottom right is not working. You know what, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna um, look because I tried it earlier. Let's let me see. Does it say brush? Oh, does it say brushes? Uh, you guys are gonna kill me. Brushes freebie. Okay, that's it. Yourartfuljourney.com brushes freebie. Hold on, I'm going there right now. I'm making sure I spelled it right. I'm going to put it in the comments. And then somebody tell me if I spelled it wrong because I am not, I am not, uh, it came up for me. So I just want to make sure. Hold on. I'm going to go to the comments. Guys. Hold on. All right. Let me, let me do this. Pure Doxy. Okay, so somebody knows her. You guys, if you know Doxy, and um, rest in peace, Doxy. I love you so much, and you know it. Um, uh, she really, I just literally copied and pasted that. So if yourartfuljourney.com brushes freebie. I will immediately post this to my um, studios page. Um, Chris just said, I had the honor of winning some Dynasty brushes from you a while back, and I love them. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, for those of you who know Doxy, she would just, she was all of four foot, five foot nothing, and was just the most amazing, assertive, loving, kind-hearted teacher that you could um, learn from. And uh, Mary Scott said Doxy was an amazing fabric uh, teacher. She really was an amazing uh, mentor to me. And we did lose her this year. Her name is Doxy Keller. And um, was just an amazing, amazing, amazing um, mentor and friend to me. And um, so... That's it. But she really, so the one thing they taught me and um, my friend Darla and Jeanette, all loving people in the decorative painting industry, they taught me about floating and brush strokes and this. Um, 
I've learned a lot. I could learn a lot more. I don't exactly have the best patience, and my MO is to be creative. It's not to say, have letters behind my name that say that I can be the most, like I'm certified. I'm not certified. I'm certified in, sorry, that was my chair that just went down a notch. I'm certified in what works for me and what I'm passionate about and and about um, getting people to create. I sometimes think when you learn everything you're supposed to learn, I think um, sometimes it stops you because you go, oh, I can't do that. I try to teach a little bit more of, yes, you can do that. And Doxy told me the most funny story, and I won't share it because I don't know if it's public knowledge, but she just cracked me up about it and said, keep doing what you're doing, and you will um, you will make a difference. I remember that. Keep doing what you're doing. You'll make a difference. And Christina said Doxy was all of that. She really was all of that, and she was just a huge, uh, huge help to me. And um, I swear, I used to say, if you're walking around with Doxy, she'll, she'll uh, lead you well. But um, so for those of you who are just really wanting to be creative and passionate and whatnot and portable. So here is, I, this is even the name of the container. Um, I used to actually work for this company and it's a local company to me, company to me which is cool. Um, made in the USA. Uh, and it's woman owned. They, I, I, I'm sure there's greater ways. I got this. You can get these like from Home Depot or order them from their website. I can list that later. Um, this doesn't get lost. I, I do carry a bit of everything, including my brushes in there. So here's a big old eight brush, Black Dynasty. Yeah, Linda just said, um, Doxy loved to encourage. It really, I, I I can honestly say that from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so this is how I carry my brushes around, and I, you know, just to make sure that I keep them, and I, I hold this upright, you know, it's in my bag, goes in my bag, never leave home without it. So, um, and I think I hit everything, uh, and uh, everything I mentioned is in that freebie, and that is where I'm going to pull winners from. Okay, I, I, will, I will select them in a week. I will give this a week. I will let it saturate. I will let it get out there, um, you know, tell all your friends, whatnot. Um, and you can share the freebie. I benefit greatly when you share this, when you guys do watch parties. Thank you so much for that. When you um, share my YouTube channel or you share a link. I cannot tell you how much and how passionate I am about the philosophy of if you build it, they will come. And it started with one and then it started with two and it just keeps going. And my membership group is something that's near and dear to me. Um, so I just want to thank you. That's all I want to do. And you guys keep asking me for certain topics. This light is really showing off my big old nose and I don't think I need to show that off right now. Anyway, um, I take every one of your topics and make something of it. Uh, speaking of companies that I work with, they're one. Um, another one I work with is Jelly Arts. They are on board to be affiliate. In fact, today they sent me a discount code, which is awesome. I'm going to be interviewing the owner. I'm also going to be sharing, um, oh, we need to talk about watch parties. I'm not really sure, but on Facebook, you can say host a watch party. Or when you guys are watching these videos, if you could just share them, it gets me new people. And I love that. Um, this weekend, I did an experiment of 10 backgrounds in 10 minutes. I will be very honest. It became 11 backgrounds in 16 minutes, and that's only because I'm a clean freak. But you might have seen some of what I've been sharing. Go to my, I've been sharing sneak peeks about this, about these. So they start like this. I did 10 of these. They are going, in fact, I will plan on having them. Look at that. Look at these backgrounds. Luscious, awesome backgrounds. And I'm going to be teaching a class in this. So um, all of the companies that I know, love, and support, I'm just asking them, can they do something for you guys if you want to order so that you guys get a discount out of it? 
I mean, why not? And I don't actually promote, for those people who like to send me free stuff, thank you. I do donate things to good causes, but if I don't actually use your product, I don't, uh, I, I will try everything. I try everything, but if it's not something that's in my wheelhouse, I don't. I'm really truthful about it. I will never badmouth anybody. If I don't like it, I just don't use it. I don't need to go out and say uh, anything poor about anything. Uh, Carol just said, I have a jelly plate, but I don't know what to do with it. I cannot wait. Okay, that's just a look. That's just a look. Um, I'm going to have the owner of the company, another woman-owned business, made in the USA business, um, the original business, I'm going to be interviewing her uh, coming up, and I'll be sharing that interview, and they gave me a code. I will be, um, all of this is coming. All I'm doing is videotaping things and sharing, and they are quick. I told you it was supposed to be 10. I'm going to redo it. It's supposed to be 10 backgrounds in 10 minutes. It actually was 11 backgrounds in 15 minutes. I have proof because I recorded it and saw the timer. But I also do things like wipe my hands, think about things. I was drinking tea. Anyway, so if you have any questions, I'm going to pop my email. And now hopefully this works. Okay. Oh, look at that. If you have any questions, that's how you reach me right there. If you have any comments, um, you want to know more about a certain topic. I know jelly arts is something I plan on covering. I like to break things down. We're now, I, I just talked 45 minutes about brushes. I thought this was going to last 10 minutes. Um, Betty just said, I really want to learn more about backgrounds. Oh, okay. That's, this is what I'm about. And um, you want more information about your artful journey, that is where I put a lot of stuff into. More is going into it. I'm in the process of recording videos. That is my membership group. It's a subscription-based group. Drop me an email. Um, and again, um, I am teaching locally. Uh, I will be on the road later this year. I hope. Oh, my God. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope I'm on the road. Everybody who is dealing with what we're dealing with right now, I just pray, pray, pray. But in October, I go to Oklahoma where I will be with the decorative painters. So if you're in the middle of the country, it's worth the drive. And probably most of these products I've mentioned, you will be able to buy them right there. The name of that container, I will type it in. I don't know where the container, oh, here it is. And if you order, say, Tracy made you go. View Tainer. View Tainer. It's a container with a view. You know what? If anybody's hiring for spokesperson roles right now, I am available. Because my kids are graduating. I don't know if you heard that news today. I'm going to say it because my son's not here. Salutatorian, baby. Number two. Number two in the class. So um, after they graduate, I'm available for your spokesperson needs. And if you'd like me to arrange and store, uh, take care of all of your studio needs, um, I have a new system to take care of that. Yeah. There's my, wait, here's my system. Wait. I hate that things are locking up on me right now. Okay, so from here, uh, please take it to email. I don't mind if you email. And then, look at that. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Your uh, Go to Brushes Freebie at your Artful Journey. You might have to type it in. You might have to Google it. Or right after this, I will be posting um, the link I will be posting the link and the photo of everything having to do with what we just spoke about. Um, I think I covered everything. Thank you guys for saying congratulations about my son. It does pay to be the mean mommy. It does pay off. Like I tell him, I'm not paid to be your friend, people. Not paid to be your friend. So I've got to go buy Mexican food now to go benefit the golf team. 
<sighs> Take a deep breath. So uh, for somebody who just said, one of the best benefits I do get from you guys is sharing. My uh, art journal, uh, my, my, the Facebook page that you're on right now, it benefits me if you guys share that and say that I'm a great resource. Uh, I noticed this week a lot of people are sharing the funny things I've been putting on my website. I'm trying to make everything fun and worth sharing and something that you can get a tidbit. I, I know you all know how I, I know, you know, want to paint. I want to share. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Uh, but I can't be here 24 7. The good news is, if for some reason we have to stay at home, I will be on here 24 7 painting. <laughs> good night, mean mommy. I love that. I'll take it. Good night, everybody. Uh, don't forget to go get the freebie. I will pick some brush winners. In fact, I'll announce them as I um, as I award them, and I will either myself or Dynasty. I'll talk to them, but I don't mind mailing out my own. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you next Wednesday where the topic is come draw with me. Let's do it. Let's just draw and paint or create live. I'm going to uh, mark your calendar for those of you who have been asking. I'm going to come home. I'm going to drop something else on the floor, and then we'll just paint, okay? We'll paint. We'll create. And thank you for the thumbs up. I will go back into the comments if I missed any questions. They go kind of fast for my little brain. Uh, but it's hereditary, and I'm the mother of the salutatorian. Thank you guys so much. I will talk to you next week. Uh, same time, same channel. I know I'm going to be stuck in Facebook. Heck, for I got my program keeps locking up. I have to restart it. Where's the finish button? Okay. Thank you for watching. I am logging out. Good night. <laughs>